What up, guys? Mad Scientist 7890 here with my boy J Man from the IWR show. We're going to do a QA here for you guys. I've uh, been planning on doing this for a long time now. I uh, just finally got the time to do it here. Uh, we did not ask questions from you guys. We're actually just going to ask questions to each other. Uh, some stuff that you guys would probably want to know about us um, here. So um, we're going to be calling this the QA with RJ. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this QA from us here. Yeah. I got the first question for you here. Okay. What are your thoughts on Scott Steiner's education? You know, I'm going to put it like this. It seems as though Scott Steiner is just a just a struggling calf just trying to get back to the herd. And it just seems that he's that he cannot get back to that literary herd that he just is trying so hard to get back to. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, it just it, it's unfortunate because he, you know, he needs to he needs to try and get there and, and get get back to that herd cuz um, he could be a leader. I don't um I don't think that would happen at all. It could be just like a part of the herd. I mean, uh, you know, I just use it as a, I use it as a reference, as a kind of a just figurative like, thing. I don't think he'll ever get back to the herd. The vicinity. No, nah, yeah, I mean, he'd probably just die on his way. To he the, probably won't even, you know, he'll probably just die to the herd. He might actually fall farther back and then just die. Okay, that answered. Yeah, that was a good answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right, first question for you. Who would be your pick to be on your kickball team? Zach Gowan or Kevin Nash? Uh, I'm going to go 150% uh, Zach Gowan here. Um, a lot of you do not know this about Kevin Nash, that when Kevin Nash is actually walking, he's running. And when Kevin Nash is, is actually walking, he's standing. It's like an optical illusion. Just stationary. Yeah, he's he kind of is just... Just there in the vicinity. The trick um, it is a very interesting trick. But, um, you know, Zach Gowan, being a person who can run, jump, you know, backflip, moonsault, uh, anything possible with one leg. PlayStation, um, he can eat corn with one leg. Um, he can pretty much do anything with one leg. I've seen him buy a ticket to a circus. That is that is true. Just with one that leg. That is true. And they and he didn't, wasn't even in it. He wasn't even in it. He just sat there in the, in the 13th row. Section C and watch. So yeah, I'm going to go with Zach Gowan for my. I'm going to sign him okay. officially to my my kickball team. Okay. Okay. Does not does not exist. Okay, here we go. All right. My question for you is, what is more annoying, Bill Alfonso whistling, or Rob Van Dam? Um, Rob Van Dam. Okay. okay. Here we go. <clears throat> One has to be your roommate. Choices are Simon Dean. For Grandmaster Sexton. Um, right off the bat, as soon as I heard Simon Dean, I knew that I would not want to be anywhere near him. Okay. Um, just he 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 hates fat people. Um, not saying that I that I'm fat. It's no, just, not at all. It's just whenever I see whenever I see fat people, um, and they're being bullied and picked on, it just hurts me. Because if I was one of them, um, you know, I I would it would really hurt my feelings. So I'm gonna go. You'll with, just never know what it feels like. Just, I'll, I'll never know what it feels like. So I'm going to go with Grandmaster Sexay, mm -hmm. um, equally as annoying, yeah. but um, there could be some good stories about Takamichi Nohu. I really want to know about the, the origin of the, looks like he's stroking a horse for the, the Takamichi Nohu driver. Yes. I want to know about that. Yeah. So he knows Taka. So I want to, I'll probably ask him about that. So, very good question. That sounds good. All, All right. right. Next question is for you. Okay. What are your thoughts on the newly franchised Naturals in TNA in 2005? Wow, that is a really tough question. You know, Naturals in TNA, they were just kind of drifting around doing this or that. Mm -hmm. They got um, they got in, uh, they crossed paths with uh, Shane Douglas, and they got straight franchised right into their assholes. Yeah. And they were newly franchised ever, ever, ever after that. And, you know, they, they, they just seemed to just fall off the face of the earth. They did. Now, I heard a rumor that they were somehow related to the natural Randy Couture. Um, nah, that's, that's, ne never that's heard just of that. ridiculous. I'm so, never heard of the, uh, the natural Randy Couture being now, related? You know what? That has, this has nothing to do with Randy Couture. Um, so, he's, so the, he's the, the natural. You, no, this, you know, this, the literally, this literally has nothing to do with Randy Couture. I don't know why... Literally the last person I would think of when I'm when I'm when I'm thinking of answering this question. So y yes or no one. You know what? No, it's it's I don't it, the, the, there is no yes or no. It, it's not even a, it's not even a, it's a, an opinion. Okay. 
Okay. So why just stop? That's that's good enough. That's just good stop enough. asking me that question. Okay. okay. Here we go. Current Ahmed Johnson. UFC, yes or no? Now he has maintained the physique over the years, right? Is that you know? I've, I've heard I've heard rumblings of him possibly keeping that just amazing physique. Um, yeah, you know, I think this is possible for Ahmed Johnson. Um, is is there a possibility that he will be in the ring or I'm sorry, octagon, um, the octagon with uh, with the the natural Randy Couture? You know what? I swear to God, if you bring up Randy Couture one more time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stab you in the eye and it just straight into your goddamn corneum. And just, so I just stop bringing up Randy Couture. I mean, he's, it's UFC. No, I don't, so. I, I could give a shit. I will literally punch you in your esophagus. So just stop it. Okay. That's, that's my fault. Um, goddamn right. Okay. Um, the, uh, the next question is for you. Um, what has a better healthcare system? Okay. The nation of domination or the nation of violence? Mm, tough question here. <sighs> not very big populations, so I mean, not a drastic, widespread need of health care. Um, but as seeming though there is only one member of the nation of violence, I think it makes more sense to go with the nation of violence here. You know, he he kind of just free roll it, just Rambo style, mm -hmm. just kind of just one guy just against no one. Because there's Basically. no one else in in the nation, but you know he he'd get his health care with just machete and machete and all. He would get he he would get his health care. There's only one person in there. You know I'm not talking about the nation of uh, you know I, I don't care about common stop with health or D -Lo. Know, just D D Lows or just yep. even Owen Hart's. I, I don't that it's just one guy, one health care. That's it. There we go. Boom. Very good answer. Here we go. Your question in a triple threat vampire match, who would go over? Gangrel, mm. Vampiro, Kevin Thorne. Here we go. With special referee, Winter. Um, well, you know, I'm gonna, you know, Vamp Vampiro, Vampiro, whatever, um, whatever his name is. You know, he ran with that Juggalo click in, in WCW, and he is mostly in Mexico now, so he he gets slashed. He's not he's not in there. Mm -hmm. Um, he doesn't win this. Uh, and then Kevin Thorne was. He was actually also a guy named Mordecai, um, who was all white, and that just proves to me that um, that you're not a vampire. That you can't you can't get bleach blonde hair like that from you know any other way than the sun. So uh, Gangrel is the only logical uh, winner of this. He is an actual vampire, I believe. When I was younger, I was very scared of him, um, and I you know it's just hard for me to sleep at night sometimes. So. You know, he's the most realistic to me. Um, I would love to say that at the end of this, there's going to be a gigantic just vampire orgy. Ooh. But this is a PG show, so we're going to cut that out. Um, but yeah, Grand Gangrel definitely wins this first ever vampire triple threat. That sounds good. All right. For you, up close, what do you think Kelly Kelly smells like? Well, you know, I've thought of this question numerous times. Um, sitting in my bed, um, or as I like to call it, sleeping masturbation time. Mm-hmm. Um, thought of this, you know, I'm going to kind of <clears throat> do a kind of thrown into a blender kind of thing here. Okay. Um, I'm going to say there's definitely a strong hint of uh, strawberry kiwi. Um, there's a portion that smells like the inside of a dressing room at Old Navy. Yeah. Um, yeah we'll really, really smells like that. And just a splash of a lobby in a Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, and just... Um, just the bottom of a of a newly bought sneaker. Ooh, that is a very good smell. Just and yeah, just just a little just a little dabble of everything, and that's that's the Kelly Kelly aura. Mm -hmm, the that's, smell that's definitely the old the old navy dress dressing room to me. That's yeah, probably one of the biggest. The one of the biggest for sure. smells for me. For sure. Here very we go. <clears throat> I would like to know, who is your favorite wrestling superhero? Okay. Here's your here's your options here. We have the Hurricane. We have Super Eric, and last but not least, we have John Cena. Who's your pick? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Chris Hero. Absolutely. I'm gonna go with Chris Hero, right? Absolutely. High five, dude. No, just, just. Here we go. One, one, okay. two, one, two, one, two, okay. one, two, one, two, three. three. Yep. Yep. See, nobody, you don't, you don't, guys don't do it like we do it. King's reign supreme. King's reign, King's reign supreme on a pizza. Okay. 
My question for you is, who would have been a better son for Vince McMahon? Okay. Mr. Kennedy or Shane McMahon? Well, you know, we have we have his actual son, Shane McMahon, but I'm going to go with Mr. Kennedy. Agree. Um, just flat out, it just seems as he, he should be the... He should be the seed, the uh, seed of the Vince. offspring of, of Vince McMahon. You know, yep. Shane McMahon had his moments. He he was he was a beast at times. He really he really showed his showed his stuff. But it really should have been Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. that's you me know, too. It just it, it just seems as though that's what it should have been. Yeah. <clears throat> um, just quickly, um, just want to show my tidbit of knowledge here. Um, I wanted to know, um, were you aware that uh, William Regal had a Various means of a snake collection. Did you know that? What? He had a snake collection. I just I don't think you knew it. So a snake collection. Like, that's not even a question. Were you aware that Cowboy Bob Orton was not actually a cowboy? Um. Last time I checked, if you have a cowboy hat, you're pretty much a cowboy. So. <laughs> what? You're a cowboy, dude. I I swear to God, I saw it on uh, I saw it on uh, Confidential in 2002. It was May. May of 2002. Yeah, that's 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 not even a question. That's that's, that's, that's a question. Kind of. Yeah. Um, if you could use any wrestler to make a rock band, who would you choose? Well, you know, this is a good one. Being me, the you know the rock, the metal kind of guy. It's a good question here. Um, let me think it out. Okay, with, uh, the bassist. Yeah, that would be a good one. Um, guitarist. Yeah, yeah, he'd be, yeah. Drummer, yeah, he'd be good singer, let's see. Yeah, he would work. Um, Heath Slater for everything. That is an absolutely genius pick. You know, I just, I literally would just, it, he's he's a one-man southern rock band. You know, he could go out there and just, just belt it. Very, very nice. That is, that is a beautiful, beautiful pick. Thank you. <clears throat> Here we go. Big question for you. If you could bring one thing back to wrestling, what would it be? Own heart. Own heart would come back to wrestling. Own heart. The nugget, the rocket, the I, heart. Um, King of Hearts. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would. I would say nothing else. The Blue Blazer, no. Just own heart. Nope, that's not what we need. <clears throat> okay. All right. My next question for you: Do you think John Cena really uses the Pro Glide Challenge? And if so, do you think he has taken the Pro Glide Challenge? And have you taken the Pro Glide Challenge? A lot of challenges in there. Um, you can do a speed round. You can be do 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 do. Yeah, there we go. Um, as for John Cena using the Fusion Pro Glide, absolutely. Um, have you seen the man? He, uh, I've never seen facial hair anywhere near him ever in the history of ever seeing John Cena. Mm -hmm. um, he shaves literally, I think, behind the scenes right before he comes out and just does his little salute and tells us his little thought of the day next to the camera guy. Um, I think, yeah, he, for sure. Um, Fusion Pro Glide Challenge, absolutely. Um, that question is kind of retarded because the Fusion Pro Glide Challenge just means that you use a Fusion Pro Glide. Um, so that's a pretty dumbass question. Um, as for me using the Fusion Pro Glide, um, absolutely not. I have not taken the Pro Glide Challenge. Um, as you see here, just... Um, it's just fucking straight edge, so. Very nice. Even though it has nothing to do with straight edge, but it's it's just how I roll, dude. So, no, I ain't, I ain't shaving shit. So, there we go. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Big question here. Fuck, marry, kill. Okay. Three options. Jeremy Borash, S.A. Rios, a Ferris wheel. Go. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to kill Jeremy Borash. He... he He's dead. No doubt about it. Kill. Um, um, S. A. Rios would be my be my. Uh, I would marry him. Mm -hmm. Would be my wife. I, it looks like he is very good at making breakfast. Probably takes care of his women. Have you ever had uh, eggs lucha libre style? No. And you know what? I really want it. Just lucha libre eggs. Very very very. It would nice. probably involve hot sauce. Yes. And then I probably would have sex with the Ferris wheel because you can just go around and around. And then as you're at the top to crank and then go to the back to bottom, you know, and stop. So um, yeah. No doubt. About I got it. one more question for you. Yeah. Hypothetically, Barry Windham, if you were Barry Windham, what would your favorite color be? 
You know what? Don't answer that question. That's a terrible question. Um, this is all I got here for you guys. Just a couple questions. Um, maybe next time we'll do some with you guys. You can ask some for us. So thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.